Hi, um, this is the new Zero app um, that was designed for getting the Shopify um, transaction into um, Zero. This is directly done by Zero, um, so it is faster and it is more um, reliable, obviously, because it's done by Zero itself um, through Shopify. So you purchase the app through the App Store, and um, then after you enter your Shopify um, uh, shop link um, into the app, it will bring you to uh, this page, which takes you through the four step of setting up your um, Shopify integration with Zero. The first one is the um, payment gateway. So in this sample that I picked up, the only payment gateway that we have is a Shopify payment, which has already been picked up. And um, you have the question to ask um, that asks you whether you want to create the invoice or not. This is very important um, for those of you having um, some invoices that um, you want to bulk together. So what it does, let's put it this way. So when the invoice is created, it's not going to be individual invoice. So it's going to be based on those uh, payments that is paid on that day. Some of you don't want some of the gateways to create the invoice because um, you want to um, create an invoice for the wholesale, for example. You don't want to itemize invoice in your um, Shopify and not a one blank invoice that doesn't um, itemize it. So you can decide which one you want the itemize invoice and which one you don't. Um, you can add um, gateways here. And um, so these are all the gateways that um, you can uh, pick from. And um, so you can go through, uh, and there's lots of them that you can pick up. You can select whether you want um, the um, invoice for it or not. Um, I'm just going to delete this one. And then um, the clearing account is uh, basically um, whether you want a clearing account for it or not. So if you're not sure what the um, clearing account is, it explains it here. If you click on that uh, link, it takes you through the clearing account and show you what uh, the clearing account means and how it works, and you can go um, through um, that uh, for yourself. Ooh, sorry. Okay, um, so you can create a clearing account right uh, from here. So you can create that. And then the bank account that it goes through is your check account, and it goes through that. And then it goes to the next step. So Shopify revenue, um, it goes to the Shopify sales. So if because we had the A2X connection here before, that shows um, the A2X sale, Shopify sale. But if you want to pick up a different account, again, you can. Um, this would be different if you have, obviously, um, different chart of account. Your Shopify discount is there. So if you have an existing account, you can uh, map it to the existing account, or you can use the new account that automatically created by, um, by zero. And uh, Shopify shipping revenue, again, uh, this is for your revenue uh, reimbursement that you charge the client for. So the revenue account is not an a expense account. So that is there. And your Shopify refund, again, if you don't have one, it will create one for you. So any of these, if you don't have one that um, can be detected by zero, it's going to create a new one for you. So we go with this. Then it comes for uh, the Shopify fee. So the transaction fee on Shopify obviously doesn't have a um, GST. So um, you can create one. Um, if you have one, you can just use one. Or um, again, uh, the system will create one for you. Um, any tax collected. Um, for you, it's going to go to Shopify Tax Collected and Shopify, uh, Shopify Gift Cards going to go to Shopify Gift Cards. Um, so that's all uh, there for you. Um, you can see all the different accounts if you really uh, want to see the details. If you click on any of the uh, these, will um, give you the information. Just go continue again. 
Um, do you collect tax um, through your Shopify store? Yes. What is the tax rate as a 15% on income? This again comes from your zero. So you just not going to have every tax um, rate that is out there. Uh, Shopify tax region, you have to um, click and pick that up. Um, do you want to create a one? So do you want to go back 90 days and bring all those uh, old invoices uh, or old transaction? If you say yes, it will go back and bring the 90 days and you just finish um, the connection. That's uh, that's it. So all of these are um, set up now. Um, and uh, you would receive, uh, for this setting now, you would receive a daily invoices, uh, which matches the exact amount of your uh, Shopify payout in your bank account. Um, and obviously, if there is any other gateway, uh, gateway uh, payment gateways, um, and all that, you will have it. It is a bit limiting as far as the um, international tax. So if you're paying um, um, GST in Australia, for example, or VAT in UK, um, at the moment, this won't be able to take care of that. Um, but otherwise, um, it is a great tool uh, for um, connecting your um, Shopify to zero. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us, uh, wiseadvice.co.nz. We specialize in Shopify and Amazon. And um, if you have any question, uh, feel free to reach out. And uh, hopefully, we would be able to help you. Cheers.